Original concepts can be found hidden away through many means, finding followers of original ideas to very questionable treasures. On this episode of Video Game Venom, we will be looking deep into these strange findings to subtle horror to pure nightmare. Hello friends, my name is Pete and welcome to Video Game Venom, the show where we examine creepy pieces in video game history. It's time to bring it back, seriously. But today I want to focus on the list of discovered goods kept away where no one can find them, from taking away enemies to beta versions of your childhood game. As a developer, unused content is no stranger, but strange doesn't just cut it. Let's go ahead and start with the least amount of creepier things that we see. And a little clarification, that doesn't mean it ain't creepy. No questions asked, Luigi's Mansion definitely has room for unused content. A creepy game about Mario's iconic brother owning a mansion full of dead people. Wow. Most of you already know the gritty reality that is Luigi's Mansion, but there are some unused additions that make interests. There is an enemy called Eh. Or maybe it's Eh. Or perhaps. What could be described as an unused semen monster from the Skittles commercial, ELH is an untextured ghost that has very few attack animations and an idle motion. Such a design would suggest that it would be coming from the ground, but really it has a floating animation at some point. There could be several reasons as to why this character was suddenly removed. For one good reason I can think of. He slimed me. This wasn't the only thing that was found though. Another player inputs a different animation coming from Luigi. This time, it was a different death mechanic that was never implemented in the game. Was Luigi f***ing choking? Okay. Let me just say how undeniably brutal this looks. Let me just sit here and process everything that's happening. Luigi is fully animated, choking his Italian <laughs> off. Just let that sink in for a minute. They animated this. Fully animated this. The most go 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 I have ever seen from Luigi. Sheesh. That's just dark. I'm starting to think they correlate with another addition they didn't add in. It manages to be a little bit more creepy than this original game over screen. Oh, you don't know about that? All it does is zoom out of the mansion and there you see a very depressed looking Luigi. Ugh, glad that's not a game over screen at all. In Minecraft's humble beginnings, several ideas were thrown left and right, then thrown out the window. It wasn't until later that Notch revealed Steve's player model was imported from a previous game called Zombie Town. A video swarmed around the internet showing dozens of Steves running around mindless. I know it's less shocking than Luigi's Mansion, but just to show you that Steve came from a very traumatic childhood. Well, this is going to turn meta real quick once I show you what this game has in store. Remember that one kid, Ryan? Okay, he's got a game now. A Twitter user was digging into the files, finding out that it's an Unreal Engine game and an easier way to make mods, but they discovered something that is very surprising. While ripping out the models, they figured out that they have separate face textures. One caught them off guard very badly. What the fuck? I... Come on. Really? A kid? It might come off as a surprise to say that a Spongebob game would be hiding even more strange content than what I've shown before. A Spongebob game is least likely to leave behind anything creepy, but you'd be wrong. 
Using the elements tool, people have dug into the files and found multiple sprites such as Sandy's broken suit and a pair of socks. Okay. Most of these aren't really important, but there's one sprite that caught massive heat and attention. In the Krusty Krab, compared to any other, there is one very out of place sprite. What you're about to see may disturb every viewer watching this. Be warned. What is that? What is that doing in Spongebob? I think Lost in Vivo just came second. It was said that one of the developers actually came forward and say that this was part of an inside joke. Just a meme. You know what? I don't believe that. Shigesato Itoi is no stranger to ruining childhoods in gaming with his previous game, Earthbound. Itoi has explained that the original ending for Mother 3 was going to be much more darker than its final release, having a nightmarish version of the battle with the masked figure, I presume. But it was deemed way too scary for its target audience. Fortunately, hackers have found their way to view not one, not two, but 13 backgrounds for battle screens. This was rightfully dubbed as Lucas's Nightmare. In order to activate these, you grab the nearby emulator and input the cheat code on the screen. Each code has two different digit endings, so within each time, you'll be presented with these screens. That's probably going to haunt me for like a very, very long time. Itoi, I just have a question, buddy. I just have a question. Was Gygus not enough? Was this creature, this abomination, this unholy enemy not enough for you? Was that really not enough to just ruin childhoods around the world? In fact, in any other Nintendo game, this man just wants to go to another level. I don't get it. You already made something way terrifying than it should be, and you just want to do it again in Mother 3. You just want to. <sighs> okay. Okay, okay. No, I'm, I'm better now. I, I think I'm better now. Okay. Alright. I just got two more things to talk about. Just two more. Okay. Okay. Alright, I'm ready. Okay. Let's. <sighs> Let's go ahead and continue. Half-Life has got to be Valve's freakiest game, with its gross designs from head crab monsters to other weirdly designed creatures. But there is one monster that was cut out from the game completely. Made by a deluded person, this enemy was named Mr. Friendly. Doesn't look so friendly to me! Just like the unused enemy from Luigi's Mansion, it has several animations, ranging from attacking, getting damage, and its own death animation as well. 
It's really large, and its main attack is to... Why does this keep on happening? Every time a different unused content is mentioned, we just keep on hitting a brand new low. No wonder why they didn't make it to the cut. These abominations are so- <sighs> Alright, let's just- let's just make this one quick before anything else happens. I, I don't even know- I- I honestly don't even know what's next. I just know that it's Mario Kart. Okay, I'm not even gonna waste your time, but apparently this game had a placeholder. A very strange choice of a placeholder that is... Well... I know there's more unused content out there, but I think we had enough of them for today. I've been finding these for a while now, and I think you get the point. There was one more character I want to talk about, but he'll have his own episode. For now, I'll just say subscribe to my channel. I'd really love to hit a thousand subscribers. My name is Pete Boyne, and I'll see you in the next episode of Video Game Venom. Good night.